Has Sirius had a macro on FNAF Tower Defense on Roblox? I got a comment asking for a tutorial about it, so I'm going to show you guys how. So the first thing you want to do, if you don't have Tiny Task, you want to go to the description, and I'll have a link to download it. And after you download it, you should have it open like this. And so first thing you want to do is you want to go to prefixes, prefs, whatever. And then you want to set this to continuous playback. So like it will keep on playing the macro over and over again. And if you go to recording hockey, I'd set this to F8 when you're making the macro. And then this should just be like any key you want. And then you want to set, like I'll set this to F12 for now. And then, yeah, F8. And then you want to set it to always on top. So, like, if I were to start my macro, I'd know if it started. And then after that, you want to put it in the corner. And after you've done that, I have a recommendation. Like, if you're, like, not very good at the game, let's say, like, your best tower is, like, shiny boy Bonnie or something, I wouldn't really suggest macroing. I'd wait to get some better units before you start macroing. And one thing before I show you guys, like, what you want to do. So, I wouldn't really suggest... Like, if you don't have a great PC like me, or you don't, like, you have a lot of lag spikes, or, like, you lag a lot, I want to make it, like, super complex, and if you, like, make it super complex, and it, like, you have a PC that lags a lot, it can sometimes mess up, and then when it messes up, you'll probably get sent back to lobby, because you'll die or something, so, yeah, I probably wouldn't, uh, make it super complex, where you have to play something, like, a lot, so, I'll just show you, it, it You'll see what I mean when I start it. And once you're in, I would, uh, there's a thing called a mouse reset or like a character reset. I don't, I wouldn't really, I don't want to go into details or this video would be too long, but what you want to do is you want to press shift, you unshift, and then you reset your character. So now your mouse is in the middle and so is your character just reset. What you want to do is you want to click on any one of these knights, wh whatever one that you can be like without dying. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do game four, night one, since that's one that's not super hard for me. And then I do a shift, unshift, and they reset character. So I'm just going to call that camera reset. And what you want to do is you want to pick any one of these modes. So I, how I do, I just play normally without moving your camera since tiny task is weird sometimes and like it doesn't move your camera. This happened to me a lot when I played. So I wouldn't really move your camera since it's messed up my macro a lot. And also, you, I don't want to, I want to buy things instantly, like as soon as you have enough money. Since sometimes ping or like the game doesn't start like as soon as like you think it will, so it will like just mess you up and won't buy an upgrade that you want to. So I do, is I just like play everything and make it like everything a bit more delayed than usual. So yeah, and I can leak a bit. I'm fine, and I can just place. Circus baby right here since I have enough money. Okay, future Mad Lux here. I would probably, like when you have enough money, I'd probably wait like three to five seconds after you have enough money to actually buy the thing or I'll sit. Well, sometimes just not buy since you won't have enough money from ping and stuff like that. Then I'd place another one, but I'd wait a bit. See, now that I'm at $30,000, I'd place it right here. Unless you're like comfortable for a bit, like where you can do camera reset without like anything getting by, I'd do camera reset. <coughs> I'm not recording the macro right now, since I already have a macro ready that I don't want to get rid of. But, yeah, once you've got, like, a solid defense down, which I do right now, then you should be good. So, I just play normally without moving your camera like this or anything. And then, if you accidentally do that, I just do a camera reset. And now that I got all my guys, like, this just should be able to win me the game. And, yeah. I don't know why I've endo too equipped really. I, I don't have them fortified since so I'm just macroing this night as well to get more flashlights. I made a bad example here. I'll move my camera since I'm not making a macro. You see how, like, if I hold out hitboxes, I made some of these things kind of close together. And if your macro, like, messes up the slightest bit, then that can get messed up sometimes. See, like, how close these hitboxes can be. And if that gets messed up, that can mess up the macro. So I'd space things a bit further apart than what I did here. I mean, this is, like, it should be fine unless you have, like, a, a really laggy PC or just a laptop or something. So, but, yeah. Oh, now that I'm on the boss, what I do is, just in case, like, pretend this circus baby didn't get placed down or something like that. 
I would just spam click here for a bit, like we're like in between these two slots, two, slot two and slot three. That's where the play game button will be. So I just spam here for a bit, even like twenty to. The longer you do it after your macro, the safer. I'd say I'd usually do about like fifteen to twenty seconds of just clicking here, since if this circus baby did not place, it would probably take a bit longer to actually kill him. He is making it pretty far though, but if I. If I, let's just pretend I place the circus baby here, but I just like spam here for a while, like 15 seconds afterwards. So just in case, like, yeah, if this circus baby didn't get clicked or something, it's still like, it'd take a bit longer. So if you spam right here, it probably, it, I can't really talk right now, but like, after that, you want to change your recording hotkey and replace this with F8, and I hope this macro helped. Bye.